Center Consortium. And for those of you that are not familiar with the consortium, basically Clark Atlanta Spelman College, uh, Morehouse School of Medicine, um, and uh, Clark Atlanta University all compromise the Atlanta University Center Consortium. And in working with, with them, one of the things that our office does, the Atlanta University Center Consortium office right across the street, right next to the parking deck, we sponsor events for faculty, for students, and for residents in the community so that they may be better engaged and help us in the collaborative work we're doing to help raise and improve the community in which our campuses reside. So we welcome you here today. We're thankful that you came. But I'm very uh, pleased to um, welcome to our campus Dennis Forbes and Natanya Ferguson, who basically called our office and asked us if we would be willing to host this event here today with Dr. Lonnie Johnson. Many of you may not be familiar with Dr. Johnson, but he lives right here in Atlanta. And he is a um, inventor, he is a prolific scientist, a rocket scientist, has over 100 patents. And so he's gonna really let you know how he got into the game, what is happening as a result of him being in the game, and what is the future of innovation, technology, and business in the United States. So at this time, I'd like to bring up to the podium um, Dennis Forbes and Natanya Ferguson from the Office of Innovation Development. So, uh, we're here and we're so pleased that Clark Atlanta University accepted our proposal of having us here to put on this presentation. And so you're going to meet an inventor who has done a lot of things. So his initial invention was a super soaker, but change occurred and now he's working on lithium batteries so that <laughs> Your communication device will allow you to communicate with your friends any and everywhere. So this How's everybody today? All right. Great. I'm Dr. Berger. I'm at Clark Atlanta. I'm the director of the Center for Innovation and Entrepreneurial Development. Some of you have been in classes there. And right here, I'm going to embarrass her, Tanya White. The reason why I'm going to embarrass her is because she has a business that she started and we have developed and she sells, pick it up and show the product, <laughs> show the product. Oh my God. She sells sh shoes for ladies size 10 and up. And she gets them in a design, manufactured and designed by her, manufactured overseas. We've done all this logistics, supply chain stuff, and she gets them and she sells them, and, and they are cool designs, or fire designs. I've learned that <laughs> cool is an old word in my generation, so it's fire, and her designs are, are contemporary to date, which is difficult. I have a daughter with a size 11, and she can't find cool shoes. What are the two ways to build wealth the most popular ways to build wealth in the United States. Can anybody tell me how do you build wealth? What industry? Real estate number one, patents. If you own a patent, and one of the questions you should ask Lonnie is, Lonnie, how much has the super soaker made? Don't ask him how much he's made, because he's not going to tell you. The IRS may be in the back of the room. So what you want to ask Lonnie is, how much in sales, how much sales volume, dollars, has Super Soaker sold? I'm the business manager at the Morehouse College Entrepreneurship Center. We also promote innovation, being different, taking that one thing that you think is missing and try to solve the problem. That's what innovation is. Innovation is simply solving a problem. The problem here was finding shoes that were stylish in sizes 10 and up. The solution was to design those shoes for 10 and up, and my daughter needs to talk to you. So there's problems everywhere. You see them as you go down the street. Black history is a great month to talk about innovation because anything, a lot of the things that you use today were created 
by black inventors. And uh, our lives were made easier once again. One more time, good afternoon everyone. Good afternoon. Oh, that's better, we got some food in our system. We're getting ready to hear an amazing presentation. Are you guys excited? Just one mission, to ensure the world has enough energy for a prosperous future. Although he has devoted his life to solving some of the world's most complex technological problems, he is best known for his widely popular invention, the Super Soaker Water Gun. Dr. Johnson is a prolific investor and holds more than a hundred patents and the vast majority are rich energy related. So I want to start off by saying I wish I were in your situation right now. I wish I were your age in college because I think the future is going to be just phenomenal. There are a lot of opportunities, especially for entrepreneurship, and I, I just look forward to um, what's going to happen in the, in the near future as well as the long term. And one of the things I was trying to work on in the point that was made earlier about finding a useful problem to, to solve. Well, the problem I was trying to address was the fact that Freon was bad for the environment. It was destroying the ozone layer. So I wanted to come up with a environmentally friendly working through it. My next project. Well, it turned out very well. There were, there were several false starts. So I went out to try and license the uh, product and talked to one company after another company, one setback, one problem after another. It literally took me seven years from the time I got the idea to the point where I found this company, Laramie, that could license the product. And um, this was, by now, it was 1989. For that, I decided to work on Nerf dart guns. You know, there were two type of guns out in the market at that point, and, and they probably still dominate the market. In fact, I know they do guns that outperform what they had, and I could literally had a, a series of guns that could control an entire market up until, uh, unto itself. So when I presented this, they felt like, well, we don't want him to take this to some other company, so we better do a deal with him. So we did a deal, and... Um